Today on the 12 days of dumbass, we are going to review Bryce Hall and I'm going to decide whether or not he should not be served a call on his stocking or should he deserve a call on his stocking. <clears throat> and from the videos that you're seeing here, it it kind of looks obvious, right? Because it's a big thing that Bryce Hall did during uh, the COVID year, which is 2020 right now. According to the August 23rd treatment that news, he threw a party for his 21st birthday. And he claimed that he threw a little party. Which is not so little. And then later in the vlog, he and his crew tested for COVID before the party. But if you want to know how big it is, quote unquote, then you have to see these videos too. So, yeah, let's just watch here. Admitting what he did wrong. And now we go to a another clip, which is 49 seconds long. My crew, all my friends, we all tested for COVID before, came back negative. But then after the party, I actually have a guy, I ordered a guy here to come into my house and test us all for COVID. So he's on the way, he'll be here in like 30 minutes. Let's fucking get tested for COVID. <laughs> Oh, I'm a bitch. Oh, 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 oh
by prosecutors who say they violate LA's COVID-19 orders and could face up to a year in jail. And by checking this article, which will upload in just a moment. It's, it says here that, that Bryce Long, Blake Gray, two members of the Sway House Content Collective have been charged in LA after throwing a massive 21st birthday party for all. LA City Attorney McFuer said in a press conference on Friday that on Friday, the following Friday of August, that the pair violated the Safer LA order and the party house ordinance by hosting the party. Paul and Gray have repeatedly thrown mass influencer parties in their rented Hollywood hotels home despite visits and posted warnings from LA PD officers, Pierre said. Now the two influencers may have face up to a year of jail time and dozens of dollars and times. Floor set. And I'm not sure if Bryce Hall is still is still in jail yet. Because that's what I am hoping for. But at least Bryce Hall learned his lesson. Well, I'll show you a few more clips before we move on. Seen hate on Bryce Hall for having a party, like lying the fuck up. It's his birthday, turning 21 is a big milestone, and sometimes you just gotta say fuck it and do what you want. So happy fucking 21st birthday to Bryce Hall. And that tweet never got any traction because, well, I assume that Avery Vinsack is wrong because. We are in COVID-19 era today, and for the past, what, five months? It was since he posted a party and he never really posted an, act, an actual apology for risking people's lives in the middle of a pandemic. I mean, that's what we're waiting for, and by the, the fact that this tweet had to exist, saying, fuck it, don't care about COVID, is completely disingenuous and irresponsible. Now, Fast forward to October, here we have is a fight that Bryce Hall started because he simply couldn't follow the 
mandated restaurant guidelines for COVID-19. Yeah. And then we go to this. TMZ has reported that TikTok star Bryce Hall has allegedly got into another altercation at a restaurant after vaping in some server spaces. This is brought to you by Core Seltzer. Bryce, Bryce, Bryce. This kid can't seem to get out of his own way. Now there's two different stories here. The restaurant says they refused to stop vaping. He says that the manager refused to give him back his credit card and it turned into a, a, a pretty much a massive fist fight. It looked like some guy got a broken hand. It probably all would have been solved if he just stopped vaping. These TikTokers truly live in an alternate universe. They live in a world where they go to restaurants and they just vape all over the place. Nobody tells them that they're doing anything wrong until they go to this restaurant where they're like, hey man, maybe, you know, the vape away no 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 i'm gonna blow smoke in your face like it is so absurd and disrespectful that you can't help but chuckle when saying it because it doesn't seem real it's like how are they actually doing this and then in the buzzfeed news article it says a tick TikToker Bryce Hall is defending himself against claims he thought a waiter to ask him not to bait. And he also thinks he's criminal charges, throwing a huge party in the pandemic. He told BuzzFeed News this story about the restaurant fight is missing a lot of context. I saw a massively popular TikTok with over 14 million followers on the platform was caught physically fighting wait stuff at a restaurant on Monday after an alleged dispute over his vape pen and credit card. According to a Team C report, workers working workers at a restaurant called Chino in Los Angeles claims a fight broke out after one employee asked the TikTok to stop hitting his vape pen. Smoking vaping are prohibited in LA restaurants and bars. Chino employees told Team C that Hall and his friends were the first to make physical contact in annihilating a full out brawl. All of our were told by the plus V News. The initial report is missing a lot of context and said tensions rose when he claimed employees would not give his credit card back. And so he and his friends could leave. Paul also claimed that the restaurant manager grabbed him first in an attempt to physically shop him out of the exception. A man named Dylan Lonstein who witnessed the fight and had the recorded cell phone footage that team to publish until it must be news when the workers put his hands on Hall first. Must be news has made repeated attempts to reach Chino for comment. While it's done clear what led up to the fight, here's what we know so far. 
On Monday, Bracewell was dining in the restaurant patio area with a few friends, including Bell Sway, House Number, and TikTok from Griffin Johnson. Paul told BuzzFeed News he did not have a bait pad, that he was illegally taking hits from, but said that was not what prompted the fight. The version of the story is that it, that is being portrayed is missing a lot of context and isn't who I am, said Hall in a late evening statement. I did bait in the outdoor seating area of the restaurant. However, when the ranger approached me and requested I leave, I obliged and asked for my credit for my card that was still being held with my table, he continued. I had to ask for it. Well, over ten times. I still don't have the card back. And he said, no, get the fuck off the property. Paul alleged the manager grabbed him to pull him out of the establishment, which triggered contact from both parties, and then his friends and multiple restaurant employees got involved. The manager grabbed me and tried to pull me out, so I drew his hand off. I, so I threw his hand off and said, don't touch me, what are you doing? And he proceeded to grab me again and said, grab me again, said, oh, said Hall. And then my friend walked in the middle of us to stop the commotion and the two of them started pushing each other. I put my hand in the middle and tried to stop it and the man turned. The manager then proceeded to tackle my friend to the ground, and that's when I got on top of him and put him in the headlock in attempting to get him to stop fighting. Paul said at this point other employees jumped into the fight and one of them kicked him. Lundstein, the witness confirmed to BuzzFeed News Paul's version of the events. However, he said he wasn't seated close enough to their table to exactly hear what was going on. Originally, I thought they were being cut off from drinking, but apparently the staff and police were telling them to leave, said Lowenstein. You know that he had no idea who Hall or his friends were, or that some of them were TikTok famous. One of the workers put his hands on Hall, that's when one his buddies got involved, and that's when it turned into a fight. They were on the floor. I know Bryce got hit when he was on the ground. According to Team Z, another sources said it was all who threw the first punch and was continuing to brawl until other steppers broke it up. Sources also alleged all blew smoke in Stabber's face when he was asked to stop baby. All denied blowing bait in anyone's face that evening. That's total fabrication, he told BuzzFeed News. Lonestein told BuzzFeed News he jumped into the brawl in an effort to de-escalate and at one point tried to hold a TikToker back. He can be seen in the cell phone footage in the maroon shirt. The person he was dining with was the one recording. The whole restaurant was yelling at Bryce and his friends. I told the guys, let's go out, walk outside. Bryce and all of them said, they said, we just want our credit card and we we'll to leave. But well, the restaurant wasn't releasing their credit card. We had a conversation and I said, be the bigger person and walk away from us. He then direct message Paul on Instagram later that day, applauding him for being the bigger man in the situation. Okay, so there's the DMs that you see. The 21 year old TikToker has been the subject of controversies and con questionable decisions before. In July, he and other famous TikToker Blake Gray were charged in with filing COVID 19 safety orders after the food massive part party, party for Hall. Officers noted the party drew some 100 guests amid the pandemic and 
prior video sticking inside the Emerald homes showed most people were not wearing masks or social distancing. All in Greece are facing up to one year in jail and up to two thousand dollars in fines. The history of questionable behavior has made Hall a target for ridicule and angry reactions online. How many of Bryce Hall and all the different talk houses for one person tweeted? As soon as Logan Hall became, e became irrelevant, Bryce Hall stepped in and replaced him with almost no discrepancies. People began immediately trolling the comments of his latest thirst trap on TikTok. The comments like, Imagine beating up a waiter because you can't bait. And there's a screenshot of all of them. Bryce Butthall maintains that the narrative about the fight that's gone viral kind of is categorically false. This is a matter of more clarity and not about protecting my name. It isn't but it isn't to my mom, my mom, a single mother who has only loved me in her heart, raised me to be, he said in a statement. I'm on Team Z article which says that Bryce Hall allegedly mentioned grabbed him and tried to track him away, sparking a bigger all out brawl. He claims that he only put the guy in headlock while depending on his friends. In the end, Bryce Hall says he mentored him to the nuts, and he rightfully deserved to get kicked to the nuts because he did something stupid. But then he claimed. And then, but then Brightwell claimed that in the end, after he and his friends left by the time the cops already arrived, Brightwell claims that he has witnesses and video to back up his version of the events. I'm not sure if those were solved in a matter of days leading up to the fight that he had, not sure at all because I haven't seen an updated story about, about Bryce proving that he didn't do anything wrong, but in this video it clearly shows that Bryce Hall continues to be the one that did the bad things in life. With that being said, Bryce Michael Hall, if you're watching this, and I'm sure you are, I'm absolutely sure you are. If you want to be a tough guy, how about you be a tough guy and apologize for what you did? I don't care if you're going to claim that you, that you didn't do anything wrong. Because clearly that's not what it officially shows in the article and online. So how about you stop lying and just apologize? Why haven't you done that? And that's one reason why you're going to have to get a call and stop. I'm sorry Bryce, but once you learn your lesson in a new year starting in 2021, Hopefully, you'll never do something stupid like that again.